In our previous videos, we have created a simple XSD file that is validating an XML file. Those rules are spelled out in this Plant Places XML definition document. So we're going to start with what we did in those previous videos, but now we're going to take a look at type and restriction. So you see for genus species cultivar, we have a max length of 60. For common name, we have a max length of 100. So let's go ahead and add those to our XSD. Now, because this is a restriction, we're going to need to do a little bit of refactoring. What we have so far is a very simple XSD document. We're going to need to make this look a little bit different. Notice that line 6, XS element, is a self-closing tag or a singleton tag. We're going to need to split this into an open and closed set. So XS colon element, just like so. Okay. And then inside of this, we need to explicitly declare that this is a simple type. So XS, simple type, just like so. And again, we'll make that an open and close set. Within the simple type, we say XS restriction, restriction. Okay, let that open and close. And within XS restriction, we say base equals XS colon string. So in other words, we're saying, let's start with a known string type let's enhance it with some additional validation rules. Now, because we've done the refactoring that, you've seen, that you see here, we no longer need type up here in the XS element statement uh, because the type is being described inside of these tags that we see here, which lie inside the open and close of the XS element tag. So here we go, go ahead and save. And believe it or not, what we have here right now is the same as what we had before. It's just a bit more verbose, it's a bit more wordy. As a matter of fact, I can go over and I can validate my document and I can see that it still validates. So line number 12, aside from the name, is essentially the same as lines six through 11. Six through 11 are just saying it in more words. But those more words give us more opportunity as well because within XS restriction, I can say XS, okay, and then we'll say max length. And then careful here, because we have to make an attribute called value equals, and then we'll say 60 inside of that. So a bit of a tricky syntax there. XS max length is the element name, value equals 60 is an attribute. That attribute declares what our maximum length is. If you wanted to make a minimum length, guess what? It would be very similar to this. It would be XS min length. So we save, and now let's go and validate our file one more time. So XML tools validate now. We see it's still valid. Okay, let's add some junk to try to make this go beyond 60. I'm just gonna paste, I'll take this away in a moment, but I just wanna give us a really long genus here. I have word wrap on, that is all on line five, but with word wrap on, you see it splits across three lines. So I save and let's make sure that our validation works. So I save, plug in, XML tools, validate now, and notice that sure enough, it fails on us because it says it has a length of 141, okay, and if we scroll over, it says our max length is 60. So once again, this is being validated with the XML plugin in Notepad++. But what we'll see in a future video is that we can also do a very simple validation with Visual Studio.net or with anything else, with Java, with Eclipse, with whatever you want. We can do a very simple validation as soon as a file like this is received. We can run it against an XSD and make sure that it's valid. So we're getting things set up. So I'll go ahead and save. Now that was a good deal of typing and I need to repeat this for species cultivar and common name, but I don't want you to be bored. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and add those. After I add those, we will come back and we're going to add a few other things like our height in meters, uh, integer max of 100, which means actually the integer value can't be greater than 100. So one moment, I'll be right back. And with the magic of video pause and a bit of copy and paste action, you see I've added this restriction to species cultivar and common name. I also added a very long common name so that now I can go ahead and validate this and I can confirm that sure enough, my validation works. It says that it has a length of 225, uh, but requires a max length of 60. Well, actually for common name, I did say that should be 100, right? So let's go ahead and change that to 100. Let's go over here, run our validation one more time. 
and we see we still get an error, but this time it tells us that the maximum length should be 100. So we take it back to normal Eastern Redbud, okay, and save, and do a validation, and we should be good at this point, validate now. Okay, good. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to handle the height of the plant. This one's a little bit different because in this case we're saying height in meters, and it's not the number of characters, it's actually the value of the number that we want to take a look at. So uh, we'll make a very similar sequence here. We'll grab, a, we'll grab an element that I've already defined, one like a common name, and boom, okay. And we're going to call this one height. Let me just pretty it up a little bit, almost there. There we go. So we'll call this height. Okay, min occurs zero, it is optional. Uh, okay, restriction, we're going to say excess integer, just like so. And then instead of max length, we're going to use a slightly different, uh, we're going to use a slightly different attribute for, for the maximum value. Very similar to max length, but remember length is just counting the number of characters. What we have to do if we're looking at the value of an integer is we have to say either max exclusive or max inclusive. In other words, is it up to and including 100, or is it up to and not including 100? Let's call this max inclusive, which means that we can go up to and including 100 meters, but not greater than 100 meters. So x, xs max inclusive, and our element is height, uh, base is integer, everything here looks good. So we go back and let's make a new element. Uh, you know, actually probably easier just to type this one out. So height, Okay, and we'll say 99 and save, and let's go ahead and validate. So XML tools and validate now. XML is valid. Now, what happens when we go to 101 and we save and we validate one more time? So XML tools and validate now. Ooh, take a look. Sure enough, we get an error message. It says the value 101 is greater than the maximum allowed 100. So you see, this is where XSD is really powerful as compared to well-formed or DTD, because we can say not only these are the elements that we require, but we can also look at the data inside of the elements and we can give a bit of validation there. So very handy. Of course, we have more to go here. We still need to take a look at this Boolean type. We need to take a look at putting a default value also in enumeration and more complex types. So there's plenty more to go, but I think that'll wrap us up for this video. So I'll go ahead and stop now, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.